Hi there everybody, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between two dream catchers. So this will be a comparison video. Now, these two are actually um, very unique dream catchers, and I got these two both from my bus driver when I was in middle school. And reason why I got these is because um, he goes to Mexico every year, and he gets these mailed to him, and, he, and some he buys. And he decided to give two to me because I was interested in dream catchers. So yeah, so <clears throat> there's a little brief history on that. So these two are the exact same length, obviously. They're both a circular design, and this whole circular part, the web is like made of like string. And then this this string right here is made of obviously fabric. Same with the whole design of this. And as you can tell by the noise, this one has wind chimes on it. So basically, um, it definitely, the sound of it definitely reminds me of the percussion instrument, the wind chimes. Here, I'll play it again. If you can hear that. And then this dream catcher does not have the wind chimes. It it has all feathers. This one does not have any feathers. They're the exact same length, obviously. And they're both made the same way, obviously, like. Like, it's got a rope on it, which you can actually hang this anywhere. Which I actually keep them... I hang them up there on that thumbtack where that piece of paper is right up there. So this one definitely is really helpful. And another brief history is that the legend says um, that the good dreams will go through this little hole right here and the bad dreams will be trapped in this net. I always thought... I always thought that was real when I... Because I would... Because I remember when I was younger, I slept with these in case if I had any good or bad dreams. But it turns out this is it's just a legend. So yeah. These are definitely unique. It's got these these feathers are really soft, obviously. And it's got beads right here on them to attach them. And then this one is my favorite because it has the wind chimes on it. And I was obviously in... I actually did percussion when I was in middle school and high school. So this is definitely a reminder of my... Percussion days and band. And I actually hung this, these on my Christmas tree one year. And I actually have a third. Um, I actually have a, a, a third um, dream catcher. But it's made differently than these two. That one is a um, holiday one. It's made in like a holiday style because it's white. It's not brown like these ones. But unlike these two, that one is made of um, plastic. It's not made of fabric. <laughs> And it doesn't have the wind chimes or feathers on it. It's just one circle dream catcher. So, yeah. Interesting history on these. The Native Americans were the one who invented these and made these. And they believe that the dreams obviously will happen on these things. So, um... Yeah, and then the ropes, uh, the strings are the exact same length, obviously. Same with this whole netting. Like, the netting is the same design, obviously. Like, it's, it's basically a spider web. Same with this one. I thought the... They're pretty much all the same, like, except this one's a little bigger. This one is slightly smaller, the way it's made. And it has the... This thing has the... The bands on it, or plastic string holding the wind chimes. And, um, this one, obviously, this one's like the, the feathers actually have string on it. I just realized this. I didn't realize till now. This thing has string on it. Like, this thing also has string on it, but it's not like the plastic one. This one supports the beads and the feathers. And then there's more string right there, if you can see it. And, um, yeah, and... And that third um, dream catcher I also got from my bus driver. Which you can actually hang it on the Christmas tree. Same with these two. And that's actually pretty cool about those three. And then another thing Native Americans make, um, they make an Indian blanket. So that's another thing my bus driver actually gave me because he, he went to Mexico, obviously. So yeah, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.